What's up guys, this is HH Trader back with another Street Smart Edge tutorial video. In this video, we'll be talking about a hot topic uh, whenever it comes to brokers and entering your orders. Now this hot topic is hot keys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start where we left off because this is basically where you need to go on in the all in one tool uh, to actually get to the hot uh, hot key settings or you can go directly through the settings. But let me just show you a quick way if you're already in the all in one and then I'll show you the other way through the settings. All right. So if you're in the all in one, we have this blank space on the ticket in the same area that the quantity and venue are in. We can right click here and we'll see a button called hot keys there hot keys all right so that's one way to get to it the other way is go to settings open up your settings go out here and to a trading go to equity hot keys all right so we are here in our equity hot keys all right so what what are we even looking at the first thing that we see uh is or the first notable noticeable thing we see is this box here this box will show you your current hot key build so all of the hot keys that you have on a build will be in this box all right and i say build because you can have different layouts different builds saved to the server that you can open up so you can have so many different combinations of hot keys all right but anyway uh, let's go ahead and get into it so it's going to show us in this little box what's the keystroke that's going to make the action happen in the next part what is the action that's going to happen and then in the first part is the hotkey enabled or disabled right now this hotkey will be disabled if we were to check mark it it will be enabled all right so keystrokes what are the different types of keystrokes? Well, you have single keystrokes, you have double keystrokes, and then you have triple keystrokes. Now, why are they named like that? Single, you press one button, you get an action. Double, two buttons, action. Uh, triple, three buttons, action. So if you're a person that makes a lot of mistakes, you may want to go with the higher uh, number of buttons to hit in your combination so three would be the maximum numbers number that you can have on any keystroke here all right so let's go ahead and think about some of some of the keystrokes that are invalid so what are some things that we know that windows has already set up as a windows hotkey like copy like paste like cut those kind of keystrokes will be invalid here so if i were to enter Control c it's going to come up red here it's going to say wait whoa 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 this hot key you can't use this one this is something that's already a windows default hot key all right so what if i said Control x that's cut can't use that what about Control v no Control v what about if i did Control k would that work? Control K works. It's not a Windows default. Now you can pull up on Google or Wiki or whatever you want to pull up a list of Windows default hotkeys. And that could uh, that could tell you what you can and cannot use very quickly instead of just going through and manually entering them here. All right. The next thing is the action type. So what action are, are we gonna what's the first thing that's going to happen here and in this little box we have a pull down here we have the first option is enter the order the second option is pop-up executable dialog or uh, ex, uh, it, it just has executable shortened right there the next one is load order parameters next one is load quantity so 
Like I said, if you make a lot of mistakes, you can get a pop up window to clarify what order is going in before you enter it. So when you hit your I your hot key, that dialog box will pop up. It'll give you your details and say, hey, are you OK with this? And then it'll have a little yellow button that will say place order. OK, so again, that's another safety mechanism for you uh, to keep you from entering a trade too quickly if you make a lot of mistakes. The next thing is uh, let's go ahead and run through these four. All right. I'll start with the load quantity first. So we'll go to load quantity and we'll load 100 shares here. The quantity is 100 shares on this hotkey control K and we'll hit save here. It'll close this dialog box and this hotkey will be ready to go. So let's say if I save this and out here, let's say if I change this to 23 shares, right? 23 of ALF. Now I want to use my hotkey. The first thing that I need to make sure that happens before I use my hotkeys is that the all in one box is golden. So it has a golden outline around it. If you can see it, I'll make it smaller so you can see that golden outline. So if I had another tool out here, let's say if I pulled up another all in one. You can have multiple all in ones. So I have another all in one here. Which one do I want to use? I want to use this one. So I'm going to click it. It's golden. If I click this one, it's golden. So whichever all in one that you have clicked and is golden is the one that the hotkey will be active on. All right, so we'll go back, go ahead and make that bigger again. All right, so let's hit Control K. Now I'll tell you what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to enter the quantity of 100 shares on that click. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my Control K. And you see that that change right there just happened. Ch change to 100 right there. Didn't have to type anything in or anything. If I put in 99 and then I hit Control K, or actually I need to get out of that text box. Then I hit control K back to a hundred. All right. So let's go back to our hotkeys. That is one hotkey setup. That is just a load quantity. So that's not entering an order. That's not making it happen automatically. That's just entering a quantity. The next type is the load order parameters. So let's say if you not only want to load a quantity, but you want to set up a couple more specifications on this as well. So let's say I want to choose my venue. Let's say if I'm trading in pre-market, I want to choose pre-market. There's a pre-market trade. I want the quantity now to be 25 shares. I want the type of order since it's a pre-market order. I want it to be a limit order. I want to limit now inside the ask or inside the bid. What does that mean? So the bid uh, inside the bid pretty much means at the bid almost. It depends on how the prices are moving and the range of the actual stock. But inside the bid is going to get as close to the bid as possible. <clears throat> um, inside the ask, as close to the ask as possible. So as the ask moves on the price range, uh, as it's moving up, you want to really buy as close to the bid as you can if you're long if you're a short the ask is where you want to be getting in all right anyway let's go ahead and put the let's just put the bid uh now the delta what is the delta so the delta is a specified range above or below the price at which your hot key gets hit so if i'm looking over here and i see it's a 1423 here right and I set my delta five cents up. So let me go one, two, three, four, five. It's only going to fill me between 23 and 28. OK, because it's plus five. All right. If it runs through that, uh, let's say if I hit the hot key at 23, it has until the 28 to fill me. OK, so if it runs through that, no fill. All right. And that's how I like mine to 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 happen, because it keeps me from buying too high. I specify a range that I want to get in. If it can't feel me, don't worry about it. 
all right it's the same thing to the downside you can go back and get the negative five so let's say if you are selling or uh, you're shorting and you want to sell lower than the price so let's say if it's at 23 and that means that you would be selling five below the 23 if not there you just missed the sale okay uh, now on this if you're if you are a long and you're planning on having kind of like a panic key, you need to make sure that your delta has enough space on that specific ticker. If that's if that ticker is moving 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents per second, it may jump over that five pretty quick. So you need to make sure that that escape key or that uh, panic key to get out is has enough range on it to get you out. Um, Anyway, this is just the load order parameters, but everything is feeding into the uh, last one that I'm going to go over. So let's go ahead and save this. And remember these parameters, pre-market, 25 shares, limit order, inside bid, and we'll just leave that there. Um, and then day is our time and force. And we'll save that. And I think it was still control K. Uh, so what we should see happen here, order type should be a limit order. Venue should change to pre-market. Quantity should change to 25. Day timing should stay the same. All right. So we click inside of our box and we'll hit control K. And there it is. 25 pre-market limit, uh, a limit price or whatever. Five below the price was eight, uh, 18 there. So everything worked out. Now, remember, this is not entering the order. It's only setting up the order for you to press the buy or sell here. We're getting to the expedited trading <laughs> in a moment. So that was the load. Then you have the pop up executable, which is just going to pop up. It's going to say, hey, do you want to place this order? Uh, we can do that right quick as well. Let's just do a buy and save this and we'll go ahead and control k and it's gonna say hey 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 uh we see that you're trying to place a pre-market order you're trying to buy alf uh and we see your quantity uh whatever whatever your quantity is gonna be in here i didn't set a quantity i forgot to set a quantity so it defaulted to 100 uh and then it's gonna let you place the order okay so that's the that's the Hey, are you sure? Uh, question. All right, the next thing, let's go to, back to hotkeys again. And the last one that we're gonna go over is the enter order. All right, so for the enter order, we're gonna do that one in the next video. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos short, but we went over all of the safe ones. Now we're gonna get to the most dangerous in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check out the rest of the content here on Framework Fortune. And you can also check out my channel at HH Trader. Uh, I also have a Twitch, HH Trader as well. I will leave the links to those in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.